Well, of course, the XC2 is obviously a great camera. If you have a great camera, you've got to have a great lens on it. And the latest lens from the Fuji stable is the 23mm. I'm very lucky to be here with Nobuyuku Kondo, who designed and built the uh, 23mm lens. How are you going? Good day, Bozo. <laughs> Good day. He's learning a bit of the local language in Australia. Um, what I find amazing about this is the picture quality. Quite literally, the first time I shot images with this, you could tell the difference straight away. The, I knew there was something special about this lens. And while I was in Japan, I thought I really had to find out what makes that so special. The picture quality is fantastic. You can see that in the resolution. The bokeh is unbelievable. The beautiful, soft, round effects. And this couldn't be just an accident. Someone has thought long and hard about doing this. And I know you've put a lot of time and effort into creating this lens. And I know from looking at the 35mm lens, it was a great lens, then there must be a lot more to the 23mm. It's, it's a lot bigger. And in actual fact, as I've found out, it has 11 elements in eight groups, as opposed to the uh, eight elements in six groups that you'll find in the 35mm lens. So this, of course, was done to improve its low light capability. So as an all-round lens, it is just brilliant. It looks good. It works well. It feels good to use. The, uh, the, the, the manual focus ring is just wonderful. And so when you're using this, uh, you can use it quite simply holding the camera in front or with your camera to your eye. And what you'll notice, aside from being able to see the information through the eyepiece, you can actually feel the information. There are actually now three click stops between each f-stop, and that's very tangible to your fingers when you're actually changing the f-stops. It's functional as well. Uh, if you're using the camera, especially if you're using it uh, as I tend to use it uh, up to my eye, being able to know when you're in manual focus and when not, simply by clicking the lens ring, is very simple. On top of that, the actual aperture ring is very clear and tactile. You can read the numbers easily, but more importantly, when you're actually looking through the viewfinder and you're concentrating on the scene, you can very quickly detect, using your fingers, exactly how many aperture stops you're using between each f-stop setting. I must admit, the first time I actually ever used the lens, uh, I popped it on the camera, took two photos, and immediately, just from looking at the picture on the screen of the camera, I could see there was something very special about this lens. The resolution, the clarity that you could actually get was amazing. And then when I looked at the pictures on my laptop, I could actually see so much more than I actually ever thought. The background was wonderfully soft, the, the, the bokeh was wonderful, and yet the detail in the foreground subject was unbe unbelievably clear and, and crisp. Uh, it looked real, it was almost bordering on 3D. And when we printed the photos, well, it was just magic. As you can see here, these components uh, kick off with the all-important glass-moulded aspherical lens. It's very, very hard to make these. Fujinon uh, is, uh, is brilliant at doing this. And we go through all the various other elements right up to even the lens hood where the detail that has gone into this is amazing, right down to the, the ridges that you'll see inside the lens hood designed to stop light reflecting into the lens. So as you can imagine, if they've put this much thought into the lens hood, you can imagine how much detail has gone into the rest of the lens. Well, I was talking before about the beautiful bokeh effects you can get with the 23mm lens, and these photos actually show it quite clearly. One of the key things to note is that bokeh on this lens is very special. You notice the, the, the light in the background here. It's not, it's not pentagonal. It's not angled. It's nice, soft, round spots in the background. And yet it still delivers unbelievable sharpness and clarity in the foreground. But that, it doesn't stop there. The, the bokeh that you'll see in the other picture here, you can actually see bokeh effects in the background and in the foreground. And this is not an accident. This lens has been specifically designed to deliver that. So you can really isolate your subject in such clarity but surrounded by beautiful, soft 
out of focus background and foreground. It, it's exactly the sort of lens you'd be looking for for those sorts of unique portrait shots. It's just a wonderful practical lens to use and something that I'm sure is going to capture many, many wonderful photos. It's actually, I suppose, become my favourite lens at the moment. Uh, I tend to use it all the time. It's permanently fixed to my camera, just about. So uh, uh, I've, I've had a great time using this lens and I'm sure that it's going to be used certainly in my line of work to capture a lot more wonderful photos. And I've got to thank you for that. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>